so in this video we will be creating a c sharp code to run the shell code that is generated from msf venom uh, for that we will be using the virtual alloc function and also virtual free function so let's take a look at this virtual alloc function and it is residing in the kernel32.dll so virtual alloc creates a region in the virtual memory uh, address space so we can uh, put our data in it so reserves commits or changes the state of region of pages so our uh, virtual address uh, will be uh, mapped via page tables so we'll be creating a, a region of space to hold our shell code in our own process and let's see the uh, parameters of this the return type is the pointer to the uh, starting uh, block of our uh, region so from this pointer we can uh, allocate the shell code into this region and the first one uh, is an optional when you are first uh, running this function for the first time you can pass null for this parameter and that means we are allowing the operating system to choose a particular free region of this much amount of size to allocate for us so the second parameter is the size uh, size of the block we want to allocate say 100 bytes 200 bytes etc and the third parameter is allocation type and we'll be using the mem commit so this uh, mem commit what the, what it does is uh, we are telling this uh, memory manager to allocate some space but do not uh, assign any uh, zeros to it so whenever we try to access for the first time it will create an uh, page fault and then operating system will uh, try to assign the uh, this block of region so until then there will be no uh, memory for us allocated uh, this is called uh, on demand paging whenever you uh, access then only the memory will be committed for you and the next parameter is the type of protection we want for the uh, memory and you can also open this one memory protection constants so you can fairly uh, see and say page execute page execute read so we are giving the permissions so we will be using this page execute read write and i have already copied all of these constant values here you can see mem commit page read write uh, page read write execute right so i also created the shell code using this command msf venom so it will pop up the calculator and the output type is c sharp now if you expand this and here you can see the shell code from msf venom so it's a normal byte array so let's d define our functions virtual alloc function so the return type is the pointer to the starting address of the our memory region and the first parameter is the pointer uh, to the address where you want to create so for the first time we will be sending the null and the size so it's obviously going to be int and the allocation type which is the un32 and the protection type let's also uh, declare this virtual free so virtual free will free the memory region declared by the virtual alloc function so in this uh, this is compulsory because uh, we need to actually uh, if you are calling this function we need to actually free something and this is a mandatory parameter the pointer to the base address or the region of pages to be freed
and the second parameter is the size of the region we want to uh, release or decommit and the third type is uh, the type of uh, we want to free the region so our functions has been declared so let's say int ptr starting ptr so this starting pointer points to the starting address of our uh, memory region and virtual alloc so we are uh, sending the first point first parameter as null because we don't know where there is a free space in the memory so this will be decided by the operating system and the second one is um, mem commit so there is a size i think so size the size of this one is uh, let's say int share code size is equals to we can say buff dot length comma and the third parameter is allocation type mem commit and the protection type is page execute read write so let's also create virtual free of the starting pointer and how much we want to uh, free that is the length of this shell code shell code size and the free type is mem mem decommit so this will uh, return boolean type so okay now we have allocated some space and we are freeing that space uh, between these lines we need to uh, write our shell code to this region so we can do that using the uh, rtl move memory so we can use this uh, rtl move memory so the first one is destination and the second parameter is source which should be uh, the shell code pointer to the shell code array and this one is the length so destination is the pointer so we can also use a marshall dot copy so this is a very simple one to use the first parameter is the byte array which is uh, my buff and the second one is starting index so zero and the third one is the destination where we want to write that is our starting pointer and the length of this uh, array we want to write that is shell code size now we have successfully written our shell code to this at this location starting pointer so how we are going to execute is using the c-sharp delegates so these delegates are uh, kind of like function pointers so i'll be showing a uh, example for this so there is a function called test that will print something now i am going to uh, declare public delegate void sample so these delegates are uh, like function pointers and they can execute a bunch of functions whenever there is a event has occurred suppose if there is an event occurred uh, you want to run a function so you can obviously call one function if you want to execute 10 functions for the same event you need to say uh, test one test two test three etc so instead of that what you can do is you can group bunch of functions into this delegate so it can execute uh, you can just execute this delegate and the function gets executed so uh, now i can uh, say sample sample s is equals to program dot uh, program dot test so the test function is the 
uh, yes the test function print something now i can just call this as so remove this so now if i go and run this so now we can see we are printing we are executing that function using this delegates so you can also uh, say yes plus is equals to if you have another function you can also say program dot test now you can call yes it's gonna execute two times so that's how you can chain multiple functions and execute this delegate whenever there is an event occurred so now we have this uh, delegate sample right now what we are going to do is uh, we are going to fetch the contents at this starting pointer and execute that as a function so we can do that using marshall dot get delegate for function pointer so we are getting the delegate for this function pointer and the parameters are starting pointer and the next one is type of uh, sample so it's just uh, nothing so this will give you the type sample s is equals to and we need to cache this as sample now we uh, allocated this delegate to execute the function located at the starting pointer so now i can simply call s yes and the the code at the starting pointer will be treated as a function and gets executed now let's go and run this and here we can see we got the calculator pop so this is how you run the shell code using the c sharp using the delegates and windows functions